Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. This is just a quick tip tutorial, this time taking a look at audio fade settings. Now, if you can't see your fade settings, and by fade settings I mean these handles that you drag in from either the right or the left hand side of each audio clip, then make sure that under your clip appearances you've either selected this option here or any of the options to the left. Any of the others actually minimize all the audio tracks, you have no access to keyframes or the fade settings. So we're going to throw it on this one because we're going to focus on audio, so we don't need large thumbnails per se. And in order to add handles, if we take a look at this clip here, you can see there's a little nozzle here that changes the arrow cursor to two arrows pointing either way, either side of the nozzle and you can see it even comes up on the screen as fade audio out and very simply you just drag from the right hand side to the left inwards or rather from the outside to the inside rather than from the right to the left because obviously if you're adding a fade to this side of the audio clip as well to fade it in then obviously the controls are reversed but one feature that a lot of people don't know about is that you can actually right click on this little nozzle and it gives you four options. Mm -hmm. Each of these options is going to change the way the audio is gonna fade out or in if you've obviously right clicked the other handle. Now, linear is just gonna very simply start at 100% volume and fade out to zero in a linear fashion, which means it's going to be a constant rate of fading out throughout. By default, the plus three decibels option is ticked. And what that means is that it's actually gonna gradually smooth into the fade out. But what that means is that the by the time it hits zero, the fade is gonna be quite harsh. So it's gonna very smoothly fade out that you don't notice it's disappearing and suddenly it's gonna be gone a little bit harsher than perhaps you might like. The minus three decibels literally does the opposite. So the, the start of the fade is going to be harder but it's going to really smoothly and gradually hit that complete silence mark. The S curve kind of amalgamates both the plus three decibels and the minus three decibels. It's slow to move into the fade, as you can see here, and then it's slow to move out of the fade. And then you've got this constant rate of fading in the middle. Now, the way I'm reading this is very simply that the higher up the line, the higher the volume, and when you hit the bottom, then you're at complete silence. So you can see that obviously the lower the line at any given point, the quieter the sound. So you can see that every fade out starts at the top, and it's just calculating the way we're going to get to absolute silence. I'd often recommend linear as a fairly stable bet, only because the S-curve does smooth it gradually and then it kind of has unsure territory, but it's literally going to depend on what kind of sound it is. If you're transitioning from one scene to another, then I'd kind of recommend a linear curve, or you have a very, very short uh, plus three decibel settings. And then obviously if we right click on this side, you can see that we read the line starting from absolute silence and then up to the normal volume of the track. Obviously you can see this bit of the line is greyed out because it's actually an undetermined sound level because you may have played around with the keyframes within the actual track. Also one last quick tip is that you can actually go into the audio channels and do this. So if you have an audio file which has multiple channels, expand audio components, and then you can actually crossfade the individual audio channels that are contained within this file, which means you don't have to add the same transition for all three tracks. So thanks for watching, hopefully this was useful and I'll be back soon with some more tutorials and some more film editing training series. Also please consider donating if you enjoyed this video or any other videos you may have seen of mine.